Have you ever thought what it would feel like to sit in line for a brand new iPhone? No, it said diesel fuel on the side. <laughs> Is that fuel leaking out? All right, guys, so right now I just checked my orders and it says it's ready for pickup. Your destination is on the line. Are you guys ready for the iPhone? Yeah. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be sitting in line for the brand new iPhone 14. I don't know why I'm doing this because I already ordered one, but we do have someone coming with us and that is Plain Rock 124 He is actually gonna be driving us to Phoenix, Arizona because we currently do not have an Apple store in our location. So we thought it would just kind of be more fun to sit in line at an actual Apple store and see what it would be like. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Check out my channel. I need more subs. <laughs> so I got in the car, we started our journey and honestly the ride seemed like it was like 30 minutes because we talked for like the entire time. But when we got there, we got there about 20, 30 minutes before they closed. This is what we saw when we arrived. I just realized Is that my... fuel? <laughs> is it fuel? I don't know, it said diesel fuel on the side. <laughs> is that fuel leaking out? I hope not. <laughs> oh, there's the Apple there's Store. There's the Apple Store. With no one waiting in line. There it is, guys. The Apple Store. No one's currently in line. After that, I was like, okay, did we just come here for nothing? Because usually with this kind of release, we would at least see a couple of people in line, but we did not see literally any, no one was in line. So then we were just kind of chilling, figuring out what we should do. And then I checked my phone, I checked my pre-orders and then it said on my phone that the phone is ready for pickup. So right now I just checked my orders and it says it's ready for pickup. Today, it's not the, it's not the day of pickup, it's 15th. We're supposed to be picking up on the 16th, but I just checked the app. It says ready for pickup. So I'm going to go try and see if I can pick this up a day early. And if I can, that'll be legendary. So Come let's on. go. Let's yeah. go close this. Let's go. Minutes. We're going to go. Okay, let's go. Which was kind of confusing because as you guys know, the phone came out on the 16th. So then I just figured, why don't I just check and see? All right, let's see if we can get an iPhone a day early. Let's go. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, um, I have an order for pickup. I'm going to pick it up. Yeah, so we're actually gonna go all the way down there. You see that uh, lights back there? Yeah. So we're gonna pick up. We'll go there and we'll take it. We'll get you. Uh, thank you. Can you guys order pick up? Pick up? Yeah. Awesome. You have the character? Yeah. What are you picking up today? That's an iPhone. iPhone? Is it the new iPhone or is it the old iPhone? It's the new iPhone. The new iPhone? This one is ready for pickup right it's now. Ready for pickup? Yeah. Are you picking up today or tomorrow? Um, it says tomorrow, but tomorrow? it says it's ready to pick up now, so... Got it. Sure. So, yeah. right now, let me communicate with one of the trucks, because the phone is already going to tomorrow. If it is your instructed pickup time, it might have to be at that time. But let me get one second, because I can bring my box right? Okay, cool. Thank you. They didn't deny you. <laughs> they didn't deny me, yeah. So, unfortunately, it would have to be tomorrow morning. So, at that scheduled time, 8.45 to 9, we, it will be a little hectic in here, but just remember, if you come at that time, you will have your truck at that time. Turns out I could not, I, I couldn't pick it up. And this kind of sucks because that would have been absolutely amazing if I could pick it up literally a day earlier. I mean, I wouldn't even have to sit in line. It would be cool content, but we have to sit in line anyways. So after noticing that there was literally nobody in line at the current Apple store that we were at, we figured to check out a different Apple store just to see if there would be any other lines in at, at any other Apple stores. So we went to another Apple store to see if, you know, there would be a line at that Apple store. And it was about 30 to 40 minute drive. And when we got there, we noticed that there was still nobody in line, dude. Aw, no line here either. There was nobody in line into these two Apple stores in a huge city nobody was in line which kind of blew my mind so after that we figured you know we'll just go chill and then eat some food because we haven't eaten yet so we went to a pizza place and got some fire pizza of course we parked back at the apple store just to see if anyone were to line up or anything like that we could just you know grab our chairs and go ahead and sit in line and we noticed that they were actually setting up the brand new iphone 14s a day earlier obviously they have to get ready and prepared but yeah we saw the iphone 14s in person a day before they actually came out, which was kind of exciting, honestly. <laughs> oh, there they are right there. <laughs> All right, bye guys. <laughs> so after we finished our pizza, we went back to the original Apple store that we were at just to see if there was line forming or anything like that, just so we can hop in line earlier. But when we got there, we actually saw, you know, a few people line up. We're back at the original Apple store. No way. Is that someone in line? <laughs> Singular one person. Is that guy in line? He has a suitcase. I think he's just performing. He has, no, he has a chair. He has a chair. Oh. 
Should we wait in line with him? Yeah, I think so. So we decided to park and find an EV charger so King's car could charge. And we walked back into the line just so we can, you know, be one of the first people in the line. And we were walking up towards the Apple store and we saw even more people. Are you guys waiting for the iPhone? Yeah. Is that, what is, is that guy waiting in line too? Or? Yeah, the line's in here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We don't know yet. <laughs> when I saw these people, you know, at you know the front of the line, these people looked really familiar. And I was like, hey, did you guys sit in line in 2019 for the iPhone 11? Because you guys look really familiar and I think you guys were here when I was here last time. And they said, yeah. I think I remember you guys. I think I was here actually. Yeah. Yeah, it was you. It was Oh my god. <laughs> it was crazy. Like literally these people were sitting in line for the iPhone 11, which I was there for the iPhone 11. And it's crazy to see that they were, again, the first people in line. So yeah, we were sitting and talking to them for a little bit and we didn't really see anybody else come into the line. We kind of just saw them, the, you know, the two people, the couple. We were talking to them for a little bit and then we, we kind of realized that no one was gonna really be in the line. So then we figured to go to another Apple store to see if there was gonna be, you know, another line at a different Apple store. So we went to another Scottsdale Apple store and when we got there, this is what happened. There's nobody here. <laughs> Literally zero people, not even one person sitting in line. This is connected to a mall. So I kind of feel like that's kind of the reason why, even though half the store was outside, half the store was still inside of the mall. So I think that's kind of why people didn't want to line up because they didn't know where to really line up if it was, you know, in the mall entrance and obviously you can't stay the night in the mall. So I think that's kind of the reason why there was no line at that Apple store. The cool part though, they did have all the iPhones set up. So we, you know, got some footage of the brand new iPhones before they actually came out, which you know, that we're doing at the other Apple store as well. But then we kind of realized there's really no point in being here right now. So then we decided to go to King's friend's house, you know, to just, you know, get some hours of sleep in because, we still wanted to get to the line early, but we were really, really tired. So we figured to just sleep for a little bit. So then we woke up at around 4 a.m. We left the building and went to the Apple store. And when we got to the Apple store, <laughs> this is again what we saw. All right, let's see if the consumerism drove people to wait in line. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I was still the same two people. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there's this guy right here. And that guy if he even is a customer waiting to buy a new iPhone. But yeah, I think, yes, amount, almost the same amount of people as when we left this line. At this point, I was like, dude, we really didn't have to do this, but it was for content, so it's okay. So then we parked right next to the Apple store just to see if we should actually grab our chairs out or not, and or should we just sit in line because we didn't know if we were gonna get like kicked out, like if we didn't know if security was gonna kick us out or anything like that. So we figured to just park there and just see what would happen. And while we were sitting there, they were also setting up the brand new iPhones in this Apple store. So I was able to get a close up of the brand new iPhones before they actually came out, which was, you know, exciting again. But then we just played the waiting game. We just got here. It's like, what time is it? I don't even know. It's like five something. We're at the Apple store. There's like four people in line. Someone just got in the line. I guess iPhone lines are done. I don't know. But here they are on display. So we could have slept in a little bit longer, but we're here, so let's camp. So after sitting there for a few hours, more people started to show up. And you know, I was like, okay, this could actually turn around. There's could actually be a few, you know, there could be, this could turn into an actual line. So a few more people started to get in line and around like six, seven, around seven o'clock in the morning, they started bringing us into the Apple store to just basically get our reservations down and to get what we wanted to get. Um, just talk to the person and we would actually have to come back at a certain time, which our time was about 8.30, I'm pretty sure. So when they finally let us into the Apple store, I was graded with the brand new iPhone 14s. And you know, I this is the first time I've ever, ever seen the iPhone 14s in person, actually touching them and actually, you know, using them in my hand. And you can say I was excited, okay? So then they brought in my brand new iPhone 14 and I was super excited. All right guys, so we just picked them up right here. Let's go. We actually got there a little bit earlier, which is nice because my point was at 8.45, but we were able to get there at like 8.10. So now we're trying to find a place to unbox them because we're trying to get back into town, into Flagstaff, which is a two hour drive. Oh, that's perfect. So 
We're gonna unbox these puppies, let's go. So then we wanted to get these things open as fast as possible and you started using them. So then we found a little, you know, area to unbox them and that's actually gonna be my next video of us unboxing the Apple Watch and the iPhone. So if you guys wanna watch that video, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, of course. But yeah, guys, this was a fun experience. I mean, at this point, I don't really know if iPhone lines are gonna be a thing just because the pre-order experience is just way too easy and people don't wanna camp in line for the brand new iPhones. So I really just don't think lines are really gonna be a thing unless some huge iPhone release comes, like a whole new design change, completely different iPhones, and people are actually interested in sitting in line. They want this thing as fast as possible. Um, but in Phoenix, Arizona, don't really see lines forming like they used to which is honestly kind of sad. That's pretty much it, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe. Really help the channel. See you guys later. Peace.